New Japan Pro Wrestling G1 Climax Night 6 just took place this morning. Kazuchika Okada took on Yoshihashi in the main event, while Hiroshi Tanahashi took on and faced off against Bullet Club's Tama Tonga in the semi-main event of the show. Other matches we have, we have Hiroki Goto taking on Jeff Cobb and Sonata taking on Chase Owens, plus we have Evil versus, uh, versus not Tanahashi, Evil versus Taichi, excuse me, in the opener today. So, without further ado, let's get into this G1 Climax 31 Night 6. Match number one for Block B. We had Evil, of course, with Dick Togo, taking on and defeating Taichi with Miho Abe, about 11 minutes, 30 seconds right here. You know what this was, man. It had Evil's pattern match. It was short. It was the opener. That's really all you can ask for. Of course, we get ref bumps here. At one point, Evil tried to low blow uh, Taichi, but Taichi blocked it and hit a low blow himself. Taichi, at this point, used the ghetto clutch for the pin attempt, but Togo took the ref and he was distracting the ref. He also, uh, at one point, took a hold of Mio Abe to distract Taichi as well. So uh, that's that's exactly he when he grabbed <clears throat> Mio Abe on the outside, it distracted Taichi and the ref. Evil then hit a low blow. He hit everything as Evil. Then he used the Scorpion Death Lock. Taichi was out, so the ref, of course, called for the stoppage right here. Next match we have, like I said, it's 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 very you know standard with Evil and this G1 climax. So the next match we had in Block B, we had Sonata taking on and defeating Chase Owens just under 12 minutes right here. This was really good. Owens has been really good in this tournament, if you ask me, to this point. But he really has no, I ain't even going to hold you, he really has no credibility after being treated as a comedy guy for years and years. So we got the ending sequence right here. We get Owens in the pump kick. He went for the package pile driver, but Sonata's able to roll through it. Owens blocks another O'Connor roll attempt, and he uses two cradles for two close near falls right here. Sonata used the skull in, hit the moonsault press with a victory. Like I said, this is really good right here. So the next match we have moving up the card on block B, we have Jeff Cobb taking on and defeating Roki Goto in about 15 minutes and nine seconds right here. This was an excellent brawl right here. Of course, these guys were able to trade strikes, very, very stiff, stiff strikes, excuse me. And the closing sequences, we get Cobb fighting out of a hammer locker, hitting a thrust kick. He, Cobb was also able to duck a lariat. Goto escaped a power bomb, a power slam attempt. He escaped the uh, fucking... Power slam. He escaped the, uh, the, the, the tour of the islands. I couldn't even think of my man's finish. He escaped the tour of the islands. Goto reversed a, a slight, a bulldog attempt to a spin cycle, which was good. Def Cop then hit a German suplex. Goto escaped another tour of the islands and he hit a leg sleep, sleep for a two count. Goto used the GTR and the Lariat for a two count himself. He went for another GTR, but Cobb blocked it. Uh, Goto hit a headbutt, but Cobb popped up and hit his own headbutt. He then put him away with the tour of the islands. Like I said, this was a very, very good brawl. I enjoyed this a lot. So next match we have moving on up the card on block B action, the penultimate match of the show. We have Hiroshi Tanahashi taking on defeating Tama Tonga, who came along with Jado in 14 minutes and 17 seconds. These guys got every ounce of everything they did here, which was not really a lot, honestly, but that's not a negative. The story of this match was Tonga continued to try for the gun stun. When he finally hit it, he didn't cover right away. And that honestly is what cost him a match. So that's what it was. <clears throat> Tana blocked the gun stun. They fought for position as a tongue and as he hit for a tongue and twist. He actually uh, hit his own sling blade, did Tama Tonga right here. So Tanahashi was able to hit a standing high fly flow. He went for a second, but Tama was able to roll out of the way. Tama popped up, like I said, hit a gun stun, but he was delayed on the cover. He couldn't cover Tanahashi right away. Eventually, when he did make the cover, Tanahashi kicked out of two and then he slid into a crucifix for the flash pin. I thought that was a brilliant way to end this match right here. And it kept Tama Tonga looking pretty strong. So. Yeah, I like this match a whole lot, and it's moving on up to the main event. So we have Kazuchika Okada taking on and defeating Yoshihashi in about 26 minutes, 53 seconds right here. Chris Charlton, who was on New Japan English commentary, gave a great history lesson on the co you know the commentary about the history between these two before the match was set to you know set to take place right here. They know each other super well, and that's pretty much the story of this match, and they have to fight for every bit of offense. The pacing was slow, but for that reason, everything made sense to me. So this closing sequence is happening with Okada hitting the top row elbow drop and the Rainmaker pose. Yoshihashi ducked the Rainmaker and hit a chop. Okada blocked the thrust kick, then he rolled through on the whipping tip and hit two Rainmakers. Okada went for a third Rainmaker, but Yoshihashi hit his own Rainmaker for the double down. And that was so sweet right there. Yoshihashi voids a shotgun drop kick right here. He applies a butterfly lock. 
we get Okada hitting the uh, top rope drop kick or hitting the drop kick and then attempting a rainmaker one more time. And Yoshihashi is able to cradle Okada for a two count right here. Yoshihashi blocks another rainmaker tip and he hits a thrust kick. Yeah, Okada blocked the dragon suplex tip. Okada hit the landslide. Then he hit him with the rainmaker right here. So this is what we got on the tomorrow show, which is going to be taking place Thursday, September 30th. We have Block A action. Shingo Takagi taking on, you know, Bullet T Club top gunner Kenna. We got Kota Ibushi taking on Toro Yano, Zack Sabre Jr. versus Great Okan, Tomohiro Ishii versus Tonga Loa, Bushi versus Yujiro Takahashi, even though it's not a block match. I'm just excited to see Bushi, man. It's good to see him on this tour. I'm glad Bushi's getting that burn and getting that run right there. So, yeah, that was the end of night six. I thoroughly enjoyed night six right here. So, <clears throat> if you want some, excuse me, if you want some current standings on both blocks right now, Let's, this, these point totals include the forfeit wins from, of course, from Tetsuya Naito. So, Block A, we got leading this block right now, Great Okan with eight points, record of 4 0. Zack Sabre Jr., 3 0, has a record of, or he has six points, has a record of 3 0. Toriano, he's 3 1, he has a record of six points. Kenta has a record of six points with the uh, also similar record of 3 1. We got Shinko Takagi with a record of 2 1. Four points. We got Yutro Takahashi. He's two and two, so he has four points. Kota Bushi also is two and two, sitting at four points. Tangaloa is two points. Tomohiro Ishii sitting at two points. And, of course, Tetsuya Naito has zero points because he was fourth to withdraw from G1 Climax in the first night. So, block B, we have Jeff Cobb leading the block with a record of 6-0. and oh, Or, it's not 6-0, and 3-0, oh, oh, excuse me, with six points. Kachuchiko Okada, not to be outdone himself, he has six points and has a record of 3-0. and oh. Evil, Taichi, Sonata, Hiroshi Tanahashi all have a record of four. I have a record of two and one sitting at four points. Tamatanga has two points with a record of one and two. Tomohiro Ishii. Oh, see, well, I'm looking at the wrong Tomohiro Ishii. Tonga, like I said, Tom, Tamatanga, excuse me, has a record of uh, two points, one and two. Excuse me. I got to fucking y'all forgive my flubs. I'm sorry. You know, this is live action, baby. Roki Goto has a record. Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi, and Chase Owens all are 0 3 with zero points right now. So I told you what's going to happen on Thursday. Let me tell you about the Friday show. We're going to get Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Sonata in Block B, Kazuchiko Okada versus Hiroki Goto, Yoshihashi versus Taichi, Iwo versus Chase Owens. That's Bullet Club on Bullet Club action right there. Jeff Cobb versus Tamatonga, and Yoshinobu Kanemaru versus Ryo, Ryo A. Oya. In, I'm assuming that will be the opener. So that's what we got for the next two nights of G1 action coming up. You know who we are, the almighty SOS Wrestling Network. I'm the pro wrestling fly guy, and y'all already know fly guy's an awesome guy, baby. So indeed, wrapping this show up, man. We'll holler at y'all later. Follow us on the Twitter machine, SOS Wrestling Net. If you want to follow me on Instagram, you can follow me at Stardust Shiyaku. Yeah, you know what it is, SOS Wrestling Network. Back at y'all once again. Like, share, subscribe, all that good shit. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Price of subscription, free 99 And Tootle Pippington.